Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing BoxyCharm. It just came in the mail today, so I figured I might as well make a video or I'm going to forget again. Hence why you haven't seen like the last, what, two or three months? Yeah, it's bad. I recorded June's, just didn't upload it. So this time I'm going to remember to do it. I'm going to take my laptop out as soon as I'm done with this, and I'm going to go um, edit it. Promise. Promise. Alright, so this month... We have Beach Please. I think that's a cute little theme. Um, in a box, you usually get like a 10% off or like a $10 or something off, um, like a certain brand that's inside the box. And this month, we have a $10 off um, tart. And you also have an Alouette um, win a free product. So I, th I think that's always really kind of neat. Um, the first item is the Alouette. Face paint, it's a lip and cheek tint. It's this size. It's not a bad size. Um, let's see. The face paint is uh, $35. That's pretty pricey. Holy shit. I would have thought it maybe would have been like 12 or 15 but even that seems like a lot. But 35 Damn. What I've noticed too with the BoxyCharm boxes now, they come with like this padded stuff in there. I thought that was pretty neat. If you can hear him, Henry's trying to take a nap in the next room. He's being difficult about it, but he's supposed to be taking a nap. Um, the next one is the Odessi New York Organic Infused Nail Lacquer. It's the gel effect. Looks like this. This retails for $18. Holy crap. This is expensive. Oh my gosh. Just gotta figure out how to open the damn thing. Okay. Oh wow. Is that the color of it? Yeah. Okay. It is a red color. Let's try this out. It just looks like that. I'll try that later though because I kind of need to fix my nails first. Oh yeah, I forgot. When I'm doing this box, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try out the stuff. And I forgot because the first one was lip and cheek. So we're we're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to this. Okay, so it says for lips, apply directly to lips with your finger or lip brush. Uh, for cheeks, apply a small drop to the liquid brush, and apply to the apples of the cheeks in a soft circular motion. So for the cheeks, I'm just going to go ahead and use my beauty blender. For my lips, I'm just going to use my fingers. That'll be easier. Like I said before. He's not happy. Emily thought he woke up from his nap, so you hear little feet running down the hallway. She always gets so excited when he wakes up from his nap. She goes, oh, Henry's awake. Oh. Of course, usually he didn't wake up. He just never went to sleep. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you can see that color, but it's kind of like a mauve -y. Wow, I feel dumb. It's the same color as the outside of the packaging. Let's see how it looks. color. I mean, I'm not a really big fan of like moppy um, undertones, but it's not bad. I should have grabbed the lip brush though. That probably would have been easier. But, oh well. I mean, it's not a bad color. Granted, my face looks kind of weird right now because I don't have on mascara. Or blush or highlight. Oh, we were about to have blush on. 
It's going to be that same color I just put on my lips. I think instead of the beauty blender, I might, I might use a brush. I might as well leave that out. I think I'm going to use this Bare Essentials Angled Blush Brush. It's just this little guy. I've had this for ever since I started doing makeup, which was in like seventh or eighth grade, I think. It's a minute. It's a hot minute. Um, I think since I'm going to be putting it on the brush, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I kind of like dip the brush into it, kind of like do it that way, just so we don't end up with too much, and it would look like a hot mess. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you definitely do not need a lot. Just need a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Too much. Okay, so I might end up blending this out with my beauty blender. <laughs> okay, so be careful with that. It's extremely pigmented, if you can't already tell. Holy crack moly. Alright, All right, that's a little bit better. You'll have to do. The next in here we have the Pure Pro Eyelashes, they're these guys, they're the 3D Cruelty Free Luxe Lashes, up to 30 wears, holy crap, that's a lot of wears. Okay, I've never put on false lashes before, so we're just going to look at it in the pretty box, and then when I finally do put them on, I will put them on on camera, so you guys will know how they wear. Oh, these retail for $14. It's about average price, right? Maybe? I don't know. I've only purchased like, one pair and I've never even worn them. Okay, so next in here we have the Tarte High Performance Naturals Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. Comes in this nice Rainforest of the Sea packaging. It's cool. It comes with this little um, piece of paper so you can. it shows you how to do like certain looks with it. There's four different ones. This is the packaging. It's really cute. And then these are the eyeshadows inside. I think it looks like none of them are really matte. Um, they all pretty much look satin except for these four look more of like a shimmery, but not like, but not with huge chunks of glitter. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's see. This retails for $36. Holy crap. All right, um, let's see. Since the box does come with brushes, they're the Moda, is it Moda or, I hope I'm saying that correctly, Moda Pro. And it looks like there's three brushes in here. The pointed blush brush, which is this big guy the chisel brush, and a crease brush. This retails for $26. Wait, come on. There we go. Okay. So the cheek brush just looks like this. And if you ever get brushes in a package that are like bent funny or like out of shape 
if you just wash it really quick and then just form it and let it dry, it'll go back to its original shape. These brushes feel nice. The handle is like that, um, that soft touch. It feels really good. And it has a nice weight to it. It's not super light and it's not like extremely heavy. It's right to the metal. And then this is the angled brush. It's just really short, stubby. It's got like that nice curve to it. But the bristles themselves are pretty short. I might try this with like the cream contour um, the ones that I have. And finally, got the crease brush. If it'll come out of its package. Okay, I got it. It just looks like any normal fluffy blending brush. And it's got that same handle. I mean, obviously they would. They came in the same package. I just thought I would tell you. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to use this crease, crease brush. Oy. Okay. I'm just going to use this palette. I'm not going to pull out any other palettes. I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to pull my mirror up so I can see what I am eh, so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, first I'm going to take Conch, which is this nude color right there. Okay, so first I'm going to take Conch, which is this nude color right here. I'm going to put it all over my lid. gonna keep it simple today but you can never forget about your inner corner highlight just thought I'd let you know oh for that lower lash line I forgot I used the Morphe B42 to smoke that out and then for the inner corner highlight I'm gonna use the Morphe E13 and I'm gonna take pearl which is this really pretty a uh, shimmery white color. <sighs> Looks good. I'm not a big fan of this lip color. The more I keep looking at myself in the mirror, I don't like it. Especially since the cheeks are the same color. I'm not liking it. Not, not liking it. So I might see if maybe one of my friends or my mom would like that one. Alright, I'm gonna wipe this lipstick off. Because it's bugging. Alright. Once again, this is Tarte. This is their tartiest lip paint in Salty. This is a nude color. Rude. I hate that when your camera just stops recording, but your battery is fine and you have plenty of storage on your camera. Why? Why? Seriously. Lipstick, I put on that, I put on that. <gasps> Mascara. God. Do you ever notice, like, when you do your makeup and your makeup looks weird and then you put your mascara on and your eyes look boom? It looks so good. Tell me how that makes sense. Hmm? Makes no sense. No sense. There's been times I'll do my eye makeup and I won't like it, but as soon as I put my mascara on, it looks awesome. I'm like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. I don't like that.
to put a whole lot of mascara on my bottom lashes, but even a little bit helps. Highlight. How could I have forgotten, almost forgotten about highlight? Who does that? Apparently I do. Okay. I've got to cover this blush because I feel like it's just totally throwing this off. It's like, I don't like this color of this blush. I don't. I just, I just don't. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to do a mixture. I'm going to do a mix of these two shades right here in the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palettes. The, this one in the middle is Hush and this one is OC. So boop, boop. I don't know if that helped, but I don't want to put a shit ton of blush on because that would just look weird. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take my Ofra highlight in Rodeo Drive. This is pretty golden color. Oh, for my blush, I used It Cosmetics Soft Touch Blush. You have seen this brush before if you have watched any of my other videos. I always use that for blush. Always. And for highlight. This brush is always going missing, even though it's in the same compartment that I always put it in. This is the Morphe M501. I'm just gonna get some of that yet. I'm gonna do I swear okay so the total for this month um, is 129 which is not bad considering whatever plan you do the most you pay for each month is like 20 bucks and that's not bad at all so pretty much $100 worth of free stuff okay so I like two of the products in the box so far um, because I haven't obviously done my nails and I didn't do the lashes but I did try one of those brushes and it was pretty soft so I will give it that but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and leave comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to... Oh my god. <clears throat> Come on. Don't be difficult. in my offer. <sighs> There's always something in my eye. <sighs> God damn it. Alright, forget that I put that on. That's so funny. Of all the colors that I grew up, I grab the one that is most similar to it. <sighs> Seriously? <sighs> this was just supposed to be a BoxyCharm video and it ended up being BoxyCharm and then the rest of my face. Oh, I should probably tell you the total, huh? <laughs> I almost forgot.